when vacation time comes around, people like to get away from it all and go on a family trip. Whether your trip will be a quick one-day affair or a lengthy cross-country venture, complete and precise travel plans are the key to an enjoyable trip. One of the first things you should do is to sit down with your family, along with brochures and travel guides of places you might want to go. Decide then as a family where you want to go. When you decide where to go, you might want to stop by a travel agency, such as AAA. Here they will give you maps of the areas you will be traveling through, help determine the best way to get to your destination, and point out construction you might want to avoid. They will also provide you with guidebooks containing information on highlights, dining, and hotels in the area you will be staying. When getting a hotel for your overnight stays, it is best to call for a reservation the night before you arrive. Many hotels have a toll-free phone number you can call for reservations anywhere in the country. These numbers are found in the yellow pages under hotel reservations. It would also be a good idea to get a room reasonably close to the highway so as not to get lost in unfamiliar surroundings. Make sure you also bring identification such as a driver's license, social security number, credit card, and a passport if leaving the country. You should also make sure you bring enough money to cover your trip and it would be wise to add up your expenses beforehand to ensure you're not stranded somewhere with no money. Of the amount, most should be in traveler's checks because only you can use them and if they are lost, they are refunded. Preparing your travel plans is a major part of your trip, but as you will see on our next show, preparing your car for the journey and preparing your home for your absence is also a task that should be completed. Until next time, this is Michael Sandstrom for Everyday People.